Welcome back to Back Road Driver, guys. We're the Miser Brothers. I'm Sam. And I'm Brad. Today, we're gonna tell you how to get the best deal if you're looking to get a new truck or a new vehicle right now. And that goes for how to get the most money for your vehicle and how to get the best deal on what you would locate in the middle of a post-pandemic chip shortage world where dealers have no new stock or they say they have no new stock. We're gonna show you how you can still get the truck of your dreams and get the best deal. This is a follow-up video to the video about is this the best time to trade up for a truck or car right now? We went through the, all the numbers on my truck, my 2018 F-150, and showed you how it's worth way more than I paid about a year and a half ago. And also we looked at Sam's brand new 2021. Both of those have relevance in this video. Go check that video out at the link in the description after you watch this one. You don't have to watch them both together, but both have different and great information. The obvious elephant in the room is, there's no inventory out there right now. Where are you gonna find a new truck? We're gonna teach you where to go look because there's plenty of it out there. It just may not be at your local dealer. This is gonna take more effort than you're used to in finding a new vehicle. Usually you go down, you see your buddy at your local dealer and we're all about that. We're very loyal, but Sam and I have had to travel by plane, by getting somebody to drive us. We've driven each other to get a vehicle a couple states away, uh, up to a thousand miles away. You may have to work a little harder right now, but you can do it. So we're gonna tell you where you can find your new vehicle. If you're buying a Ford, go to Ford.com and search the new truck inventory. It's gonna show you all the different places that you're gonna be able to find a truck at a dealership. Now, same thing with Chevy, same thing with Dodge. Not gonna mention any other brands because we're an American vehicle channel. The vehicle you're looking for may not be on that site today. It may be tomorrow though. Because dealers, even though there's a chip shortage, even though there's a part shortage here and there, we've got two Broncos on order right now, and the top, the hard top, is what's gonna hold that up from coming to us, and us being one of the first on the internet to have that. And there's nothing we can do about it. Every vehicle's got another little quirk about it, about what's holding up production, or what's holding up the ability to get those vehicles to dealers, but vehicles are still showing up to dealers every day. If they tell you they're not, they're not telling you the truth, and they have an incentive to tell you that. If they're your local dealer, because they want you to buy what they have on the lot today and make you think that nothing else is showing up. I promise you, delivery trucks are still showing up. Dealers still have their doors open. They are actually having all-time record months right now because the price per sale is higher. We're gonna help you figure out how to not have to pay the highest price, but the secret sauce is in how to get way more money for your used vehicle right now than you could at a normal market. And using that gain, and it's way above what the taxes offset from trading is going to be on a new vehicle because I know you're going to go to the comments and say that. We're going to show you how to get five to fifteen thousand dollars more for your truck or your vehicle and then go get maybe where you were going to get a six thousand dollar discount on a truck you may get a two or three thousand dollar discount now but you're still going to make about ten grand on this trade. You're just going to have to work a little harder to do it. Let's talk about that. So you're going to have to be an internet sleuth to find the vehicle that you're looking for. The manufacturer's website is gonna have all those vehicles that are ready for dealers, but sometimes vehicles get onto websites like autotrader, cars.com, truecar.com, and cargurus.com. So there's a ton of websites out there. I've got a handful like that that are my favorites. Those websites are gonna have search features that are gonna allow you to put in how far away you want to look for a vehicle. You're gonna make a radius and be able to find a vehicle that you're willing to travel to. Let's talk about traveling to find your next vehicle. I'm interrupting this video like the My Pillow guy, I guess. I'm gonna ask you guys to subscribe, but I'm gonna give you something in return. During this video, I'm gonna drive two levels down on this parking garage, and I'm gonna rev the new exhaust, the new custom stainless exhaust on my 2018 F-150 that's supercharged. It's the 5.0 Coyote motor. <laughs> It roars. Even if you're a Chevy or Dodge guy, you've got to love this because there's no resonator, there's no catalytic converter. I've got a dump valve that comes right out of open or comes right out of headers and dumps it on the ground. So this is basically open headers from a supercharged vehicle. It roars, it wakes the whole neighborhood up, it sounds awesome. We're also gonna rev up Sam's new 2021 F-150 that does have aftermarket exhaust on it and it sounds awesome too. It's a side exit, so it sounds great in these parking garages. So hit subscribe down below. Thanks for doing that. Give the video a thumbs up if you like this information and follow along with the Miser Brothers on Back Road Driver. Thanks guys.
if you've got a budget airline and you're willing to fly on that like Sam and I, Allegiant, Frontier, there's a couple of them now across the country, look at what flights you can catch out of your local area and to which areas you can go to because those are good cities to look in. You can, I can fly to Florida for like 99 bucks to the Orlando Sanford area, to the Clearwater area from Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't have to get a return flight. So that's a really cheap way to get there. It's way cheaper than driving down and trading my vehicle there. And that's our point is you may have to do this in two transactions, guys, which is more hassle for you, but it could put you ahead five to 10,000 bucks. So look on your budget airlines and see what flies out of your nearby airport that you can catch a ride to real easy and see where the cheapest place that you can fly to is or the cheaper places that you can fly to. If you've got to buy a $700 plane ticket and fly and drive back a thousand miles, you've had to buy gas to drive that vehicle back, that's expensive. But if you can fly somewhere for 100 or 200 bucks and catch an Uber to a dealership, 150, 200 bucks all in, you're at the dealership you need to be able to purchase that vehicle at, drive back a couple hundred miles, a few tanks of gas, maybe one if you're buying a big truck, and you've saved a bundle and you found the truck you need and the truck you want, which is the most important thing right now. It's hard to find new inventory. We're gonna tell you how to get the best deal on your car here in a second. Let's talk about how to get the best deal on the new car you're gonna buy. When you're talking to a dealership, you want to finance with them. That's how they make money. They sell warranties and they finance vehicles and they make more money doing that than they do selling the vehicle most of the time. So that's how dealerships are making money right now. Even though the, they're paying more for vehicles than they ever have and selling them for close to that price, they're still making money on the back end, guys. So you may not want to have your financing in line before you go. You may want to get financing through that dealership that you're gonna to travel to. That way they're gonna be more helpful and want to work with you and give you your best deal. They know you're not gonna be a repeat buyer for them. Let me repeat that. They know you're not going to be a repeat buyer. They need to be able to make money off of you when you're coming from out of town because they know you're not coming back in the future. So buy the warranty from them if you're going to buy a warranty. Do your financing with them if you're going to finance. That's how they're going to make money on the deal. I know everybody freaks out when you hear I had to pay sticker or I might have to pay sticker to be able to get this vehicle. We're going to talk about the, the trade difference here in just a second. I mentioned it briefly earlier. Guys, pay a sticker for a new truck right now. If it's what you want and you can get it, exactly all the features you want are very close to it, is not terrible and here's why. You may be the guy that says, I get $13,000 off every time I buy one. One, I'm calling bull crap. Like, I'm calling bull crap on you. Number two, if you get four to five to six grand off of a brand new 60 to $70,000 vehicle, then you've done really well. Most people get three to four and they feel like they did good. Their dealership will take care of all warranty things for them even if there's a little gray area because you're a good customer. We're not talking about that in this case. We're going out of town. They're never gonna see you again. They're never gonna do any dealer service work for you. If you have recalls, you're not going 600 miles away to get those done because that's where you bought the vehicle. This is a one and done transaction. So you're not gonna get four to five to six thousand dollars off of a new vehicle right now any new vehicle i don't know anything that they're setting so many on a lot right now that you're going to get that kind of deal be okay with only getting a grand or two or paying real close to sticker right now let's talk about how to get the most for the vehicle you have right now that you need to get rid of to get this new truck so why does everybody want to pay way more for your truck than it was worth a couple of years ago even the reason people are paying so much for vehicles right now is they need another vehicle so they can make another deal so they can finance it and sell some warranties and make money. That's how they make money. So we've had in the comments people approach, getting approached at Home Depot to buy their truck. Every dealer you drive by has a big sign out front, we buy vehicles. Um, there's mailers going out. They need vehicles so they can make money, and that's why you're gonna get top dollar for your vehicle right now. First things first, you gotta know what you got. I love it when I see that on somebody selling something on Facebook, like, don't lowball me, I know what I got. You need to really know what you got in this case. Number one, go to kellybluebook.com. I had some people in the comments say, dealers don't pay off Kelly Blue Book. And you're right, they're gonna pay off of whatever method that they have at that dealership or at that used car lot. They've got their own way and they know how they make money. Some people don't make as much money doing financing and they have to have a bigger margin on the deal. They're not getting to buy all these vehicles right now. 
unless they have a way to make it on the back end, they're probably not going to pay the most. So sometimes uh, knowing what you got and really knowing because you've been to True Car, you've been to KellyBlueBook.com, you've looked on all the new car sites to see what they're selling your truck for, they're going to pay close to that because of that back end that we've mentioned. If we've not mentioned it yet, guys, the back end is very important and you've probably not thought a lot about that when you've made vehicle deals in the past because they've always needed to make a four to five to six thousand dollar gap where they pay you little they sell it for a lot that's not really the market right now and that's not where we're at in the middle of 2021. all right a lot of information coming at you this is the most important part of the video after you watch it and you get done with the video back it up and watch this again because you've not thought about this as much as we have i promise we've studied to make these videos we had hundreds and hundreds of comments on the last video so we've learned everything that's happened across the country right now from people that watch our channel which is people that are trying to trade their vehicles in or trade up or do different things with cars right now so we know some things guys pay attention to what i'm about to say there's three main outlets that you can sell your vehicle there's upsides and downsides to all three of them number one private party sale this will give you the most money for your vehicle right now because the guy buying from you will pay the most. He'll pay more than the other two methods that we're gonna talk about in a second. But with that comes some inconveniences. You have to meet somebody at your house. You have to go meet them somewhere else. And have you noticed in 2021 that people aren't as prompt or they don't communicate as well or they just no show more than ever? I mean, for goodness sakes, we got a cell phone in our pocket we can text, instant message, we can Facebook Messenger, Instagram Messenger, we can communicate 50,000 different ways right now, but people are the least reliable and they're just jokers when it comes to meeting up with them. So, if you're selling private sale and a guy's coming from 100 miles away, his window of when he shows up may be 30 minutes different. So if you're meeting him out somewhere, it's gonna be a pain in the rear to even show him that vehicle. Number two, you're gonna to have to change your oil. You're gonna to have to detail your truck out, whether that's you in the driveway or taking it somewhere and spending a couple hundred bucks. It's gonna to have to be fairly reconditioned to be able to sell at private party and get the most money for it. And that's just something that goes with selling at private party. Private party also presents some security and fraud issues. If they're bringing you a cashier's check and you've got the title, that cashier's check could be fraudulent. The bet, let me repeat that. People can fraud you with a fake cashier's check. You'll have a check that means absolutely nothing. It's just a printed piece of paper that means nothing at a bank. And you'll give them your title. They technically stole your car, but good luck tracking it down at that point because they're good at this if they're doing a cashier's check fraud. So there are some trouble, there is some trouble doing that. If you can sell it very local and meet somebody at a credit union or a bank to where you give them the title and the bank gives you the check. That's the safest and smartest way to do a transaction. But unfortunately, you're not gonna meet them at the bank to show it to them and then purchase it immediately. There's gonna be a couple back and forth there. You also got the problem with 10 people wanna look at your truck. One guy says he'll take it, and it's the fifth guy. But he can't get his money in order for two or three days. And then you wait on him. And the first five go on and they get something else. But your best buyer, was there already he had some money but you said you would sell it to this guy well then this guy finds something else or can't come through with the financing but it's very likely that he's still looking for a vehicle even after he tells you he's going to buy yours because that's just how people are in 2021 in the world we live in i hate to say it but it's human nature everybody's not your friend and everybody's not out to make sure that they do what they say they'll do it's a hassle to sell private party but for the hassle you will get the most money you're probably gonna get 10 grand to 15 grand more than what you think your vehicle's worth. Method number two, and this for me and Sam is probably the best thing you could do right now because it's a good mix between one and three. This is selling online, and this would be Carvana, Vroom, or it could even be taking it to your local CarMax dealership. And let me tell you why this may be the best. You don't have to recondition the vehicle, you don't have to change the oil, you don't have to go get your title. They are a used car company and they're gonna do a lot of that with you and they're gonna kinda work through all the details and help you with their process because they absolutely have a process. They will pay you a little less than a private sale. It will be a whole lot less trouble for you and you're not gonna have to worry about fraud. Now, why would they pay more than what we're gonna talk about in just a second, number three, a dealership? Let's talk about that. CarMax, Vroom, and Carvana are all three networks. 
CarMax is one company. So if they can buy a used truck in Texas and ship it up to New Jersey, and it may cost them $200 to put on a truck that they have going that way, they may buy the truck for high market value in Texas and then sell it for a couple grand more in New Jersey or New York where there's a shortage of vehicles of that make and model. So same thing with Carvana, same thing with Room. That's their deal is they can, it's like arbitrage. They could buy it in one place, sell it in another. So they can buy it what's high in this place, but sell it super high over here because it's a good deal and a fair deal in another part of the country. That's different than dealerships. Yes, all dealerships may have a Ford logo or a Dodge or a Chevy or a Jeep logo on them. They don't work together. Dealerships might work together on swapping new inventory, probably less right now than usual. But if you trade in to, a, to your local dealership or to any dealership with a Ford logo on it, and that vehicle might sell for a little bit more, 60 miles or 100 miles up the road, they're not making a deal to send that truck up there for, for a $200 profit. They have a new piece right there and that's where they're gonna sell it. So they have to pay a little bit less at a dealership. Carvana, Vroom, CarMax, they're just like regular dealers. They make money when they sell, when you finance through them or when they sell the company that you're gonna to finance to your information and you actually go through with a deal or if you buy a warranty, they have a transaction to make money on. We've heard examples in our comments of a guy buying a vehicle or selling a vehicle for you know $39,000 and then he finds his vehicle on that site and they're selling it for $38,000. Let me repeat that. Guy sells his truck for $39,000 to Carvana, finds his truck on Carvana, and it's because it had some unique scratches and markings on it, and they're selling it for $1,000 less. How in the world do they do that? Because of the back end that we've talked about. They're making money on other things, and so they can make that sale, lose a thousand bucks on the sale, but know that they're gonna get the financing or the warranty or whatever else it is, the transaction fee that you pay to buy through them, and they're gonna be able to make that up. So. What used to make sense doesn't actually make sense right now. It's easier to sell your car to one of these sites that comes and picks it up at your house and you don't have to, you're, you're, you're gonna have a stranger coming to your house. It's different than a private seller that's coming to inspect your car and may also check out what's in your garage and come back later and clean you out. The easiest way to walk away with some money in your pocket right now is to take your vehicle down to your local dealership. They're gonna be the easiest to work with. They're gonna be able to do any work to the vehicle that needs to be done. You don't have to go clean it up. You don't have to get it maintenance. They're gonna be able to take care of all that kind of stuff. And if there's a ding or two in it, they can fix that stuff too. They usually have in-house body shops. So they're not gonna give you the most money for that car or truck right now. They're gonna make it easy for you. And they're gonna be very competitive with some of these other ways we've talked to you about. If convenience is what you're after, to just take the car or truck to your local dealer that's gonna be the easiest way possible to get rid of it. So the game is on its head right now. I'm not gonna say that you guys don't know what arbitrage means, but it's a different kind of definition right now, and I'm gonna explain that. Arbitrage is where you buy something, like you go to Dollar General and you buy 50 of something for a dollar, and then you put them on Amazon and sell them for $5 a piece, and you make the difference. This is a little bit of arbitrage right now. You're selling a vehicle in a way that you normally wouldn't do it. Normally, most of us, and I'm one of these guys for most part, would take it down to our local dealer, trade it in, and get our new vehicle there, get the highest we can for a trade, get the lowest price we can on the new. That's hard to do right now because your local dealer probably doesn't have the vehicle that you want, okay? And if they know you're trading there and you're local, they're not gonna pay top dollar for your vehicle. So the arbitrage in this is you are going non-conventional, maybe selling your vehicle, and you know you got a three to $4,000 tax buffer there, but if you can get $10,000 more for it by selling it to Carvana or CarMax right now, then that little three to $4,000 tax savings means nothing. Then you're gonna fly on a plane, or you're gonna catch a ride, um, or you're gonna have a vehicle ship for five or six or 700 bucks back to your house, and you're gonna try to buy it from somewhere way off and try to get a better deal on something that you actually want. Now. You could come out $1,000 better by doing this right now and trading up, but you could also come out $10,000 better right now. It's all in how hard you wanna work on the internet and all the research that you wanna do, uh, the, the hard work of selling a vehicle. If you sell it private party, you've put in some work to do that, to get that top dollar. And if you're willing to fly six states over and drive something back, you've put in some hard work to get that. And it might make you five to $10,000 difference 
in a trade up situation right now because you can take advantage of the unique opportunities in 2021 in America. It's a little different in Canada, so we're not even gonna pretend. We know we got a lot of guys watching from Canada. We're not gonna pretend to know your situation. We're not gonna pretend to know in Mexico how this works right now, but in America, and maybe there's some similarities where you're at watching in the world, this is how you can make a deal right now that'll get you ahead and get you a newer vehicle. We're gonna go downstairs now and rev it when, with all the bouncing around noises. Sam's truck does have an aftermarket exhaust, even though it's a 21 and they don't have those available yet. We've got a video on every mod he's done on his truck and we'll put the link directly to the playlist for all his videos, as well as his exhaust video in the description. So you can watch it here in just a second. But this is his, is it AWE? AWE custom exhaust or aftermarket exhaust cat back on his 21 F-150 in a parking garage. Wolf. He's going to give you a run down through here with the cutouts closed. So this is regular exhaust like you're just driving down the road right here. Oh my word. That's what the cutouts closed. So this is with the cutouts open. Here he comes. Right now. All right, let's do some revs on this thing. I got it neutral. If you take the information we've just given you and you go out and you spend more money than you have or have to spend on a vehicle you're an idiot don't do don't, it. don't go out and blow money that you don't have don't write checks that your butt can't cash make sure you stay within budget guys just because you want something that you can't afford don't go do it yep listen to us the market's gonna, you know, take this information, use it how you will. The market is gonna be good for used vehicles for a long time because these shortages are not gonna end. It may get easier to find newer pieces of newer vehicles in the short term, but guys, don't put yourself in a bind. The cheapest truck you'll ever drive is a paid off vehicle. We're idiots, okay? The Miser Brothers are idiots. We got a garage with six cars in it and that doesn't count what our wife drives. We're stupid, okay? We're always trading. We lose on trade sometimes because we're trying to get vehicles to do content for you guys. Don't do what we're doing. Listen to what we're saying about how to get the best deal, but don't go buy brand new stuff because guys, we're actually making money off these vehicles. I'm gonna bet that you don't have a YouTube channel that you're making content with. If you're a plumber and this new truck will help you make more money, awesome, but it probably won't help you make more money than your used truck right now. So be smart don't go out and write dumb checks right now just because the market's crazy it could be a good time to sell your vehicle for a bunch of money and drive something else or borrow something from a family member until the prices come back down or until you can get a great five or six thousand dollars off of a new truck just think it through guys be smart don't be a dummy and do your research yep the more time you spend on the internet the better deal you're going to get Check out our other videos right here in the end card, guys. We appreciate you watching the Miser Brothers on Backroad Driver. Peace out. Peace.